we are at Ralph Wilson Stadium for this preseason matchup between the Seahawks and the Bills. Hello, friends. Jim Nance alongside Bill Sims. We're live here tonight for this primetime matchup. There's all kinds of energy and excitement in the air as these teams are ready to take center stage. How about it, Bill? Oh, man, it's going to be a lot of people watching this game tonight. The old bad eye is on you. So, in other words, we're going to focus in on these players. It's going to be fun to watch. And when they all know that all these people are watching, that brings out the emotion. Should be hard hitting. Should be a lot of fun to watch. Yo, welcome back to another video. It's your boy Rusty Area. We got the final two preseason games. First game against Buffalo and the second game against Tua, the Cheetah, and the Miami Dolphins. Now, so far these preseason games, you all seen that he can run and pass. More so of running with his legs. I mean, he that's his God given you know gift, but you know, in the NFL, this is not college or, or, or high school. You you got to prove that you can be a quarterback. You feel me? So with the right play calling, you know, I think he's in the right system with the pieces behind him, like a four-headed monster, including himself, with Penny, Nick Chubb, Kenneth Walker the third. Oh, it, it, we, we definitely are a run first play action team. And we're gonna build off that, man. But as you can see, as we end up, you know, taking the lead, man, it was a 14-14 game. That boy Trey is pumped right now. We are 21 to 17. This is one of his strong suits right here. This is what he did in high school. This is what he did in, you know, college. And that's why he was taken third overall in the draft, this year's draft, bro. Who else out here throwing blocks like this? That's the way you block, bro. That's the way you block. Let's go. As you can see, we four for five on third down. This is the money down. It's definitely the money down in the NFL. So if you can convert a lot of third downs, you are definitely good. Right here, you can't do this. I don't care what level you play on. You lead this quarterback with that kind of much green grass in front of him, he gonna take advantage of it. And that's exactly what he did. And we get it out to heart. And they did not give us a touchdown on that. But second and goal, Trey decided to take man into his own hands. And we extend this lead. And we up 31 to 20, third and four. Let's see if we can convert. Right here, we scraping the pressure, escaping the pressure. We slide down, definitely wanna take a big hit. That's how we ended the game, man. You know, end it with a dub. Can his success in the preseason carry over to the regular season? We shall see. Not a bad man. Not a bad game. Really under 100, you know, receiving throwing yards. But, bro, Kenneth Walker, Nick Chubb, Campbell, and Penny. Like I say, bro, it's going to be a three-headed monster. I feel for the NFL, man. I definitely feel for the NFL trying to stop this offense, man. It was definitely, but... Ain't gonna hold y'all long, man. Let's get straight into gameplay number two. Century Link Field for this preseason matchup between the Dolphins and the Seahawks. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims getting set for kickoff and a big primetime game headed your way. The lights are on. The excitement's building, Phil. Yeah, it really is. And i tell you what it does to players, Jim. They sit around all day long and what are the, the tensions build up. Coming into this last preseason game, has Trey shown enough to jump ahead of Geno Smith? You feel me? But me voted, God damn, dude, hold up. Damn, that's the way you're supposed to block somebody. Terrible job by the defense. Somebody has to keep their eye on the quarterback. Nobody does, and he's able. But as I was saying, man, the whole 44 preseason game, the offense seems a little bit more rejuvenized. I know, it again, I know it's going against backups or whatnot, but 
with with this with how much talent this kid got. If he, you know, being started a starting rotation, the offense will god damn but they receivers are blocking. But as I was saying, it's too much talent go to waste. I will vote he's the head of Geno Smith. I mean, of course he gonna make his mistake throwing interceptions, we're not rookie mistakes, but you, you gotta you gotta let him learn. I would say give Geno Smith a kind of a few games to see how he do. He's up there in age. You know, let let Trey learn behind him, and once he feel like he's ready, you know what I mean. With a coach, a bunch of practices and, and plays that's drawn up just to him, Trey definitely will. You know, bring a new, a new life to Seattle. God damn, number seventy seven, bro. Why did we bump into seventy seven? That was another house call, but we all know, bro. His, his legs is, is, is what he got him this far. And I know that's illegal touch. <laughs> it should be legal touching. But, you know, he's looking to throw as we get sacked right there. He's not just hiking, just take out running. He's looking to throw, but he, he he's forced to throw when, you know, defense is, you know, doing different disguises and blitzes. You know, it's a couple of plays that drawn up just for him, bro. This dude got weak in the knees off that shoestring tackle, but couple of plays going to be drawn up front. I know I should have hit R1. I know everybody going to say that. As we take a sack right there, we had R1 wide open. But when I'm playing, I actually don't see that, bro. As we saw our penny off to the races. That's why I say, bro. I said it last, you know, <laughs> a couple minutes ago. This four-headed monster here in Seattle, man, along with Lockett, DK Metcalf, as we end up winning 34-7. to Bro, good luck trying to stop this offense, isn't it? This offense, bro, like good luck to NFL defenses trying to stop this offense, man. It's gonna be a fucking nightmare for real. Y'all can see the four preseason games 552 passing yard, four passing touchdowns. Geno Smith 197, one passing touchdown, four interceptions. Bro, it is it's hard not to pick Trey, you know what I mean? I know he's a rookie, but we got sacked four times, he got sacked one time. We had a completion percentage of 71. Geno Smith had 48. You know what I mean? I know the course is that going to go ahead and go with Geno Smith, you know, being that he's the veteran, Trey's the rook, you know, Trey to get, get to learn from him. I understand that part, but as soon as later, they're going to have to pull the trigger. But Kenneth Walker, you know, 294, one score, Trey Young, 278, and seven racing touchdowns, bro. Nick Chubb added 176. Penny added 150, one score, bro. It's just anybody can, you know, this, this backfield is just ridiculous, man. <laughs> like, for real. And train the mix. I know I keep saying it, but NFL defense trying to figure out, try to start this offense. Good luck, man. But Godwin, good with 97 season yard goal on one score. I mean, Trey, they Trey has the pieces around him. It's no excuses, you know what I mean? Other than being hit, being that he's a Ricky. You know what I mean? He spread the ball around the running game. It's our full front, man. But let's get straight into this gameplay against the Rams. Let's get it. Safe from the confines of the elements, we're in the dome here in St. Louis for this NFC matchup between the Seahawks and the Rams. Hello friends, Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. There's nothing like a heated divisional game. That's about to come your way. There's not a whole lot of love to be found on this field today, partner, as we're about to kick off. Well, there's no doubt about that. They do not like each other. That's the simplest way to say it. You play your division rival twice a year, so that alone is going to build some animosity. And the other thing is, too, when you go into the offseason, what is the number one thing you try to do? Find ways to beat your division rival. So that's what we're going to see out here today. A lot of emotion, a lot of good play. It's going to be very exciting. Yo, we are early in the season. I don't know what Geno Smith last game. We you know we failed against Buffalo. We lost <clears throat> against the coaching staff. Didn't like the way Geno Smith was playing. And I promise you, it's no cap. Got auto starter turned off. You know what I mean? So I guess they pulled the trigger earlier than, than Trey anticipated. You know, this is an NFL starting defense, man. Aaron Donald. 
and they don't have Jalen Ramsey. He's not playing for the Miami Dolphins, but arguably one of the best defenders in NFL history, bro. We definitely got to be on our A game, man, as we get our first official touchdown on the regular season, man. We up seven to nothing. As we hit no offense across the middle, keep the drive alive. He picks up 10 on the play, second and four. We threw it before DK was even not even out of his break yet, man. So that's definitely good to see, man. Good run blocking. And they are not falling for that, but that's okay, man. We pick up eight yards. First and 10, they got to deal with Aaron Donald, bro. <laughs> Aaron Donald, we pick up the first down despite the big hit, man. He's using his legs earlier than often. A play action right here. Pressure is dialed up, and we just going to escape the pressure right here. He thought about wanting to throw. Taking another big hit. Trade, boy, you can't be doing that. This is the NFL. Tyron Lockett, the first official in his counts as his first official passing touchdown to Tyron Lockett. We up 14 to nothing, and what a dot to DK Metcalf. You love to see it, man. I'm telling you, this offense just, it just looks better when he's in the, you know, starting rotation. Right here, that just... That's just improvising, bro. That just got given an ability. Hit DK Metcalf on that first down right there. Zay Flowers in motion. I, no offense, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did not mean for that to happen. Good hit right there. Bro, where is the blocking as we go down for a sec? It's third and 19. Third and a mile. When we skate the pressure, everybody has their back turned. You can't do that against Trey. And he picks up a first down as we end up, you know, settling in for three right before halftime. 17 to nothing right here. We hit Noah Fan, and he don't take a big hit. <laughs> no, but he do get injured, bro. This is not Noah's fan today, man. We throwing it deep to DK and Metcalf, and that is intercepted by Burgess. Ah, it's all in the day's work, man. Rookie mistake. That's what we that's what we love to see from the receivers. As Nick Chuck sprung Lucifer huge game win, we are 24 to nothing first and goal. And we get sacked by Aaron Donald. Good coverage by the defense. Fourth and goal. They decide to go for it. And we hit DK Metcalf for our second pass and touchdown of our young career. You love to see it, man. 31 to 7, second and four. Another read option. Bro, DK, you did not have to do that DB like that. Let's go. Terrible job by the defense. Somebody has to keep their eye on the quarterback. Nobody does. And he's able to get out of the pocket and get the long run for the touchdown. We are big right now. First and 10 hand out to Kenneth Walker. He splits multiple defenders. Let's go. Let's go. That's the way the game ends, man. It's, it's cannot. Moving forward, I think Trey definitely should be the starter as we end up winning 45 to 14. It's, it's really hard not to, for this guy to be the starter here on out. I mean, sorry, Geno Smith. Sorry, but not sorry. <laughs> you feel me? I definitely want to appreciate y'all, man. But before I go, I just want to do explain for the next series. Instead of starting off from high school to college and NFL, it's going to be reverse. He's going to start off in the NFL. And every other video is going to explain how he got there. You feel me? Y'all think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. But a lot of people want, you know, cornerback or safety. Like some people want, you know, tight end because you barely see tight end and you don't. You feel me? But I'm thinking about the idea. Y'all let me know if, um, if you know, one playing tight end and one playing cornerback, you feel me? They meet up in the NFL or whatnot. Y'all let me know if that's a good idea. But just checking out these stats, man, is it's, Pete Carroll got a tough decision to make. Well, let, let me backtrack. He don't have a tough decision. I mean, you drafted this kid third overall for a reason. And he's showing why he said, you know, we'll deserve a third overall pick. But like, comment, subscribe on the video, man. It's your boy, CR8. Salute to y'all, man. God bless. And I'm gone. I want to salute every nigga who run with me. And it's a secret, everything that you done with me. Because it's a couple niggas that practice loyalty. Family.